Welcome to Makosi Network. Welcome to the channel. To those who have not subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But yeah, today we're just going to give player ratings, uh, chat about what we saw, the disaster we saw in the stands, which is Midian Dorp. Um, hey, the way I do not like that coach. Guys, I'm going to explain to you why I don't like that coach, but I think I've already explained it in other videos. But yeah, um, we are so Gonzalez was uh, at the stadium as well he looks like he's ready to go uh, and stuff like that uh, Frostler also looks like they said he was ill but i saw the guy there at the uh stadium and i was like I, this guy does not look sick but anyway who knows maybe it's a bit of flu or something like that but yeah guys let's kick it off player ratings Play, no, actually, before I get to player ratings, let me just get this one out the way. Why is Midian Dob at that game? Hmm? Midian Dob must go back to where he came from. Midian Dob is not meant to coach Chiefs. Midian Dob, I have said this again and again and again and again. And I hope Chiefs management is not panicking and trying to put a Midian Dob in our team uh, to fix things. Yeah, I, I just pray that is not the case because I'll say this, guys. Mirren Dop is not a good coach and Mirren Dop is the reason for Cheese being where it is today. When Mirren Dop came to chase Kaiser Cheese, he took out all the skillful players. He said he doesn't want to see a skillful player. So we lost Abos Karangobes, etc, etc, etc. And what that actually did is that our development structures had to change to, because the players that were in our development at the time, Mirendop didn't like because they used a lot of skill. He wanted players, um, you know, like who just kick and run and just follow his instructions. And that is why we are a useless team that we are today, where now development isn't producing the best teams, uh, players, etc. And what you see is that a team like Sundowns has gone and started doing what Chiefs was doing back in the um early 2000s and, and backwards yeah but anyway player ratings peterson as always say positioning good but he didn't really get threatened that much but when he did he made the good save so peterson i'll just give him a seven he did well because positioning is always important and i always tell people uh how a keeper positions himself is very important. Like that George Maluleka shot. Uh, to another keeper, they would have uh, had to dive if their positioning was wrong. But you saw how solid he looked. And yeah, that's what I want from Peterson going forward. And just to minim take out, not minimize, take out mistakes. Like that is the most important thing. Take out mistakes. Shanti uh, Shanti had a, an okay game. I can't really say it was the best, but like, you know, he did his job, which is defending, and that is what needs to happen. So, Shanti, I'll give a, a six, but well, one thing I'll say about Shanti is that we can all see that the guy struggles with pace, and if you put someone who can run by Shanti, it's a problem. But he did actually uh, help the team here and there when moving forward and passing the ball forward and just you know showing some composure on the ball he did help there so six uh the clock one of his better games so i'm also gonna give him a six um in that game you know i'm not gonna go around giving people 6.5s and and sevens if we won and stuff like that i i will give you the rating i think you deserve for the day and oh the clock i'll give him a six and maybe 6.5 if i'm trying to be generous but our um, defense needs to communicate better and that's one thing i saw the clock doing the clock at some point was shouting at him Simango, because he lost his player and the clock was telling him Simango, yeah, wena, go get that player they what they're doing a long throw in you don't stand by yourself and um Simango saw it and then he fixed it and Msimangwe actually helped clear that ball. So with that leadership quality 6.5. Msimango, I've said, uh, this is since he's played for Chiefs, he's looked a little bit nervous and shaky at times. But it's the big brand of Chiefs. The big brand of Chiefs does can do this to players. 
but um, also had a, uh, a decent performance. Uh, you know, sometimes it's difficult to judge against a team like Amazulu because they really didn't threaten us in any way. The only thing we had to do was just keep Unduli quiet because there was not, and no more I mean, besides those two, there was no threat in Jay. But yeah, um, Simango, I'll give a six. He showed some very shakiness at some points, but he 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 recovered. He was lucky. Let's just say on another day, uh, the mistakes he made is a goal. Cause there was a point where he lost the ball, um, he lost his man by the goal line, uh, and then he fell on the floor. And then that guy went past and took a shot at Peterson. And then we were like, hmm, on another day, this is a goal. So yeah, Simango, just a six. He was okay. I want 5.5 maybe will be too harsh because he did stop a lot of attacks. But yeah, six. Uh, Quinica, I also give a six. He didn't, he just did his job. Did his job. He did his job right. He didn't really do much going forward. But today it was more about defending. And he defended. And, you know, if you... This is what we've been saying. We were saying uh, if our wing, right back and left back can just, like, stop from going forward, it will help us uh, having this gap on our wings. Because our wings sometimes just have gaps for no reason. And, yeah, so that was a good one. Uh, Matt, Matt, I'll give. You know what? A lot of people liked how Matt was, what Matt was doing. But for me, personally, personally, Matt, 5.5. Matt lost too many balls. Too many balls. Matt, yo, there's just too many balls, Matt. Passed the wrong player. Passed the ball too hard. Like, passed the opposition. Matt, I don't know what he needs to do, but he needs to fix it. And one thing I will say is this, guys. I pray and I pray and I pray that Chiefs doesn't believe that they have fixed the defensive midfield problem because I do not believe it's fixed. Like, we have Castillo, Sharp, but we need someone to partner up with Castillo who is just going to do things right, pass the ball right, etc., etc. Matt, as good as he is, he's fine. He's fine to come in uh, maybe when we are winning or something. I don't know, or whatever the case may be. But, like, yeah, I'm not happy with what Matt is doing. But he's not the worst player. But, yeah, the reason why I'm criticizing him at times is that if he can't find the forward pass or makes the wrong forward pass he we always lose possession and the team comes and attacks us so that is my problem and this is one thing i'll say people can hate olavu katsand for playing like simple passes etc etc but the one thing about katsand is that he made his he tried his best to not when he marks the ball he did not lose possession. He passed it to a player who knows what to do with the ball. What we had a problem with Ukatsande is that at, at points in games when uh, like Uyeye or whoever was playing in the defensive midfielder was off form, Ukatsande just didn't give us anything. So now with Matt, he, he's not doing the simple thing of passing for. Matt sometimes kills our attacks. Like, he will run forward and he's in the other team's opposition. Uh, um, he's, he's in the other team's like uh, um, uh, half of the field. And then you're like, okay, Matt, you made a deep run. Okay, what are you going to do? Matt, but his first thinking is to pass backwards. And then I'm like, why did he run there? If he's going to waste the space that he ran into. It was like, but when you see the difference between Matt and Castile, when Castillo gets up front, he doesn't think about passing back. He checks the coast and says, who is available for a forward pass? And that is what Matt does not do. And then Matt either wastes the chance by passing back and wastes the space. So yeah, that is my problem with Matt. Um, but he isn't our worst player. But for what we want to do, sometimes he kills us because... Yesterday, there were so many chances that we didn't get two on 
two on one, three on two, etc., etc., because Matt decided to not pass the ball right. And Tanzania is also at fault there. So, Matt, I'll give a 5.5. I didn't like it. Castillo, I'll give a, a 6.5. Uh, Castillo was good like obviously when someone scores a goal people think ah Mara this guy did well but like Castillo did his job but he just didn't affect us going forward and he did the same thing Matt did at points in the game where they make the wrong pass there were many times Castillo intercepted the ball and then instead of passing right they passed the wrong play so we need to fix that and another problem I have with Matt uh, Castillo, and I'll include Um Tanzani here, and I'll include Modi, I'll include Botzani, and even Dupri. This thing of not closing down the players who are going to make those long passes, or these things kill us because that is how Sundance always be. That is how Sundance was always getting the ball to Umaseko, and then Maseko had to go one on one on Frost. It's because we allowed that ball. To be played to Masek. We must, if we want teams to not threaten us, we need to stop those people who are cre- who are creating those passes or those long passes. Because that is what TS Galaxy did to us the whole game. They just made sure, because we weren't marking the person who is going to play the ball, and that is how they benefited. Today it worked out, but imagine if uh, Amazulu played or uh, George Malulek. George Malulek is way more creative than some of the players that were playing against Chiefs. So George would find those deep passes and the ball will get to Ntuli so many times, etc. And it will be a problem. So yeah, uh, Castillo 6.5, Tanzania 5.5, not his best game. He just didn't look in the game. He didn't look to make the right passes. Same as Matt, he lost possession. Yeah, so a. Hey, you know, at times like this, I wonder, would he, imagine if we had Ro, Rowan Human, some uh, Chiefs had signed a Rowan Human or Okim Vidi or someone like that, you know, because um, we're relying on Umtanzane because we saw what he did against Cape Town City, but it's taking time. He's taking time. He's a very good player, but at this point, his form is, is if Mtanzan, if we have to rate Mtanzane's form, He's at a form of 5.5. He's not at a form of what we know he can be. Uh, Bule Modi rating uh, two goals, uh, well finished goals, will give Bule Modi a, a 7 to 7.5. Why I say 7.5? Because he scored the goals, you want to give him a 7.5. But what he was doing besides those two goals, not too much. Um, besides that, he, he just didn't look like he was taking on players the right way, etc., etc. But he, he did enough when he got the chances. So you praise him for that. Upozani, Upozani I'll give, a, a, actually, Upozani I'll give a, a 6.5. Upozani, when you look at the, the game, 6.5 to 7, somewhere there. And when you look at the game, Potani, as I always say, the one benefit of having Potani on the field is that he's more creative and he's quick and he can he he makes proper forward decisions. So what happened in the other game, he makes deep runs, which is good. Um and that is sometimes I wish U Christian Saile can watch how Potani moves on the field and he can learn from Upotan. Because Upotane doesn't stand with a player. U Christian Saile stands with a player. Upotane will run from the wing and cut in and you will find him running almost to become a strike. But that's what he does because it creates space. But because Chiefs hasn't figured out how to create space, it's an issue. And there's another thing I want to add with our system, which is a problem. But yeah, uh, Upotane 6.5 to 7. You choose what you want to choose. I'll just say that. Dupree, um, 7 as well. I'll give Dupree a 7. Uh, Dupree just makes us play better. Dupree just gives us more space on the park. But like I've always said, 
there's an issue at fitness. Udu pre ran the first 15 minutes right, then after that he was walking. Like the defender, the Amazulu players were like playing in front of Udu Dupri. Dupri was just walking in there. Like you could tell Udu, this guy is tired. Like in the first 15 minutes is tired. And for me, it's a worry. it worries me that why would we play a system of running a lot, but our players are not fit? It's, 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 not, it's, it's not good, a good brand of football. Because if I were to be a, someone coaching against Chiefs, what I would do is simple. I would just say, guys, let these guys get tired in the first 15 minutes. They will press us and run like crazy headless chickens. It's fine. After that, when they are tired, we come for them. Baben Sioba shy. And that is as simple as it gets. To pre seven, but fitness is a problem. Um then we go to the bench. The bench who Ngobo came on. Ngobo didn't have much time, so I won't give him a rating. Uh, Matlo looked very positive. So for him coming on, I'll give him a six. Uh, he looked he did some positive things, it's just that yeah. The players who came in also did not help him. Khadebe, he looked positive, but still, he's not making the right uh, decision. So I won't give him a, a yeah, I not enough time. So Saile, yeah, he him I'll give a four. He did not impact the game. He had enough time to impact the game. Did not impact the game. Four. Uh, then the thing I wanted to say about the system is this this thing irritated me so much when i was watching it okay we drive the players of the opposition to the left to the wings they get to the wings and then we get abo modi or botsani or shanti blocking that player when we block the player we're saying we're telling him it's difficult to play on the wing okay the player is blocked on the wing then what happens is that um Tanzani, uh, mat etc etc back off from the midfielder then the midfielder comes and supports that wide, wide player uh, so brooks uh, etc come and support that wide player and then they get the ball when they get the ball they just see space so in that moment they can change play quickly and go and take on the other wing and then it's a problem so i'm saying why do we not close those defenders those midfielders in the middle of them why don't we press them we must press them because we made yesterday, we made Umo Para look like he's a proper midfielder. But like, no, 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 no. It, 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 Abu Brooks and Umo Para, they had too much space in our, the middle of the park. Tell me what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. Those are my ratings.